market really tries to do things to help the environment. One of our main core values is helping the environment and the community. And team members asked for the composting program specifically. They wanted a program that would keep some of, some more of our landfill waste out of the landfill and put it into something that could maybe be used in the future. And that's exactly what composting is doing. Well, the t idea came from team members. Team members specifically requested this, and our company is really good at listening to what the team member says because our team members are also our customers. Here in Illinois, we had to kind of go through some of the government bureaucracy of getting it allowed for us to be able to do composting, and then once we were able to do that, we immediately got in the stores. Um, our Schomburg location was one of the first stores to have it, and now it's expanding across our region. There are definitely some hurdles to incorporating composting. Uh, most of it has to do with just training people and getting them into the habit. It's a daily habit of doing this every single day and getting used to having that be a part of your life. But once you get over that, it's really very easy. The things in our store that are compostable include all of the food waste. So we have an in-house production bakery and we have a prepared foods uh, production facility. All of the waste that they create is compostable. All of the produce that we don't sell gets composted and then we're continuing to try and have more and more of our packaging materials be compostable as well. This is all the product from our kitchen that's biodegradable. It includes all the paper waste, food product, even meat scraps if we're working with that for the day. What it won't include is metal or plastic or anything else that won't break down in a composting field. Paper, dough, flour, sugar, uh, I even have things that are coated in a wax. Now this stuff, even though it's shiny, it still biodegrades. So it's just paper, wax. Again, anything that biodegrades, it's brought to a, uh, an actual composting field where instead of just being dumped into a hole and lined with plastic and sealed and left there, there's actually going to be bulldozers there tipping and churning all this compost so that oxygen actually gets to it and breaks it all down into dirt. Approached waste management about a year and a half ago and what we did is an, a waste audit where we had our, our green mission team come out and look at their what their current what they were currently doing and all of their trash was going into their compactor so what we determined is about 80 to 90 percent of their trash was compostable material one way to illustrate how successful this program is be or has been is to look at the compactor behind me. This is our compost compactor now, and prior to our composting program, this would have been our landfill. And not only was it this size, but it was actually a few feet longer than this. Um, and if you look behind me over here, what we have now is our garbage. So these two bins over here are all the landfill. Whole Foods has been very successful in how they've implemented this at all their stores. It's been very, you know, Whole Foods coming in and, and ha training all of their staff on how to change what they currently were doing has been a big project for them. But I think as far as, as what Whole Foods has done in educating, the leadership has done a great job. Um, they're all very happy on the success that they've had and they're just looking forward to moving it on on new stores that we're bringing into the area. Well, in every department, every office, in our back rooms, there are three receptacles. There's a receptacle for landfill that's typically the smallest now. There's a receptacle for general recycling, things, paper, plastics, and then there's a compost bin. And for most of the departments, that one actually is the largest one now because there's so many things that can go into compost. So and you can imagine in a grocery store, we have a lot of kind of organic materials that can be turned into compost. We post signs throughout the store of different information about how to properly dispose of waste, recycling, and compost, and we try to continually update those signs, make them as clear as possible so that customers are better informed about how to dispose of waste. It's good for our customers because it's good for our environment. It's good for the people and the places that surround us, and it also offers them an opportunity to learn about how to do these things at home, because a lot of our customers are interested in learning about how to have more green practices at home as well. Prior to the composting program, there was 80% to 90% of our waste that went to landfill. And now we've completely reversed that to where only now like 10% goes into landfill. So that means 80% or so of our waste is actually going into composting now. Um, produce department is actually one of the major departments that has 
drastically reduce their landfill waste because so much of their items are able to go into compost. Okay, we started the compost program here at the Schaumburg, which was a pilot location in February of this year. And to date, we have eight stores that are currently composting in this area, and they have produced about 1,100 tons of compost material that we're bringing that's tur being turned into soil. Well, a Whole Foods Market's always been an innovator in the grocery industry, and a lot of people look to us for what's next, and we're always looking into the future, and we definitely see composting as the future of uh, waste removal. Our customers and a lot of customer, a lot of people around here are becoming a lot more interested in environmental sustainability, and I think that we're also committed to those goals as a store and as team members. The Green Mission is an initiative that Whole Foods has put together to try and um, incorporate different practices to get towards their goal of being responsible to the environment. It encompasses recycling, it encompasses our trash programs, um, different education for both uh, team members and customers, and then it encompasses, in our case here at Schaumburg, composting. With Whole Foods Market Culture, our mission is always to help the planet, help the world, help people, and I think that doing the composting program, launching this across the region is just another way that we are loving the whole planet.